Alrighty. Welcome, welcome. Um, hopefully the stream is up still and is still working properly. Uh, my computer needed a, a small break. So, uh, it decided it wanted to crash the first time I went live. Um, and I'm hoping it doesn't decide to do that again. Would be nice if it wouldn't. So let's get started, kinda, sorta. Um, so, today's a little different. Sundays I've been playing Paper Mario, the past two Sundays. Um, but tomorrow I have to cancel my Monday stream because I have a club meeting that I have to run. And the only time everybody could meet was while I was streaming. So tomorrow's stream is cancelled. And then Wednesday stream, which will be at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, um, we will play Assassin's Creed Revelations. We're gonna get back into <coughs> our Assassin's Creed playthrough, one through Valhalla, on Wednesday. Um, and with that, we're gonna play some Scarlet today. I played last night to level up our team, so... We can take on the dark team star base again. Uh, when we took on the dark boss last week, last Monday, we weren't able to defeat him. So I went ahead and leveled up our team last night. So we should be able to defeat him now. Let me swap scenes real quick and turn on the right music and turn off music in my ears. Um, and we should be right here. Yeah turn up the sound or I'm unable to hear it for whatever reason. I did also, I brought Tinka Tink into our team. Um, our whooper that we had uh, leveled up into Claude Sire. I have a video of that. And yeah. So let's go see if we can beat this team star base. Wonder if I have to do it. I shouldn't have to do it all over again, right? I can't get through there. Guess I have to go this way. Ah, yes, here's the gate. And we're all healed up. Okay. Let's go ahead and challenge the boss. There's also a frost lass over my head. I don't know if it'll let you do pokey catch. I might not have been live long enough. I think I have to be live 15 minutes before it'll let you. Oh, maybe not. So if you're interested in catching frost lass. So we're gonna fight or battle this dude. Maybe? Oh, here we go. You've done a real number on us, Party Crasher. Quayla, was it? I'm Giacomo? At the deck, I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever, it's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you all, and how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry, I'll play you a sick requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started. Okay, dude. I also have some hot chocolate, because it's really cold here today. You don't really think things through, do you? Declaring war on Team Star is a bad move, I think is what that said. T 
turned up the tempo. The show ain't over yet. Does he only have two Pokemon? I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've um, fought this particular Team Star member. Oh yes, yeah, so I also gave Crocolore a clear amulet, so its stats can't be lowered. So that's nice. They keep trying to lower my stats, so they can't. Yes, that's that. Yes, sir. About a year and a half ago. <clears throat> Guess that's that. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? The big boss just wanted to take on some stuff. But just wanted my take on some stuff. So we had a chat and settled on a few plans. A few plans? Like, for what? Operation Star, first of all. And also, a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figured we gotta make some team rules, like a code, so we'll all be on the same page. Nice, you'll come up with a great code for us, won't you, Giacomo? Ha, ah, no thanks. Way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council, but you know everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know. You forced a ton of stuffy rules on everybody and they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after, like, five minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male student's hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape, and so forth. Your rules were a vexation made manifest. My point exactly, so you'll all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you always know what's best for the team, Giacomo. You look out for us. You've earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck-up student council prez isn't who you are anymore, man. A code written by the Giacomo I'm looking at now? I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay. Thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. So here, take my star badge, would you? Cool. I'll give you this choice TM2. You earned it fair and square. So we got foul play. Cool. Ha! So this is how the party ends. But let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? Thank you, thank you. I had to level them last night so I could beat you. You learned those trainer chops at the academy? Like what moves you should use and stuff? Sure did. Yeah, we'll uh... Fib a little there. Huh, okay. You like it at the academy? Having fun? I'm enjoying it. No kidding. Sorry to interrupt, but are, but are you Giacomo? Whoa, ho, wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You get a Quaxwell to style that up for you? I'm just after a quick word. Would you mind? Sure, I can tell it's going to be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. It seems all of you in Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why won't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? That's what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal, though we don't know if they'll be coming back. A pal? A close friend of yours, are they? 
They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us other bosses to form the team. We call him the Big Boss. And where is this Big Boss of yours now? Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him in, I don't know, it must be a year and a half now. We thought that if we kept Team Star going, then they'd get back in touch one day. But the teachers are keep pressuring us to call it quits, and then we get party crashers like you two. Maybe the big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So Team Star and this big boss of yours, they're really that important to you? Heh, <laughs> is the sky blue? We put in words you eggheads at the academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. Aww. Roto to to to. Quayla, it's me. It seems Giacomo no longer carries his star badge, the symbol of his status as a boss. He gave it to you, did he? I see. With its boss out of the picture, the Sagan squad is pretty much done for. Oh, Giacomo. Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make at TM Machines. These new TMs should help you improve your Pokemon's battle capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there. So much so that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Cool. Penny! Uh, hello? I'm Penny, from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. Oh, so you do remember. But, um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study, you know, the treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. So, here you go. Your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. You should be able to make a ton of TMs with those. And Cassiopeia said she'll get you more rewards each time you take out one of the Team Star's bases. Uh, also, um, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. With the trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so, um, good luck. Cool. Alright, so I should be able to get- we should be able to get through this area. I'm going through Team- the dark Team Star's base. Ah. Hello! Trollo? How are you doing today? That barricade over there is part of a Team Star base. Team Star is trouble, so battle me instead. Okay. I'm good. Um, playing Pokemon. And also your gym leader Trollo. Okay. All right, gym leader Trollo. Let's give somebody else. You're a water gym leader? Yeah. 
Sweet. I'm cool. Oh, thank you for the follow, Trollo. I appreciate it. Guess I couldn't trick you even with such a slick battle invitation. Oh. I figure I had to turn. I've got like a secondary notification. I think I figured I'd turn that off. It's kind of loud. Alright, so we made it to Cascarafa. Yes, yeah, so I'd like to heal my Pokemon. Oh, yes, the little chonky mode. I love it. Hmm, I heard Gamma go. I don't know if it's on top of the roof or not. Because I don't. I can't get up there just yet. I'll have to come back. Alright. You have a shiny Lechonk? Oh, that's cool. Uh, the only shiny I got- so I played through Violet, um, and I'm just playing through Scarlet so I can get the ex Scarlet exclusives for my Violet Pokedex. Um, the only shiny I got in Violet was a uh, shiny Palafin. Or no, whatever the- this Pokemon over here. This- the Dolphin one. I think it's Palafin. Okay. So this is the water gym, right? You have five shinies. Your English is not good. Um, that's fine. Yeah, I've gotten one shiny in my Violet playthrough. Since I'm playing Pokemon Scarlet right now. It is your gym. Walton Valooza, I'm late, I'm late. And there he goes. Ah, Kofu, wait. Ah, oh, he got away. How am I supposed to return this to him now? Oh, hey, you're here as a gym challenger, right? Yep. I knew it, of course you are. That big man that just left is Kofu, leader of the Kaskarafa gym. He has a bit of a childlike side to him, and today he's run off to the market without his wallet. He'll be in big trouble without it. That's where you come in, kind Jim Challenger. Could you please take Kofu's wallet to him? Sure. Oh, you are too kind. I'd give you a gym badge right now if I could. Alright, we got Kofu's wallet. Aw, it's got a ven venonat. That's cute. This can be your gym test here. If you do this for me, you pass. He said to Deporto Marinata. It's on the other side of the desert to the west. Be careful though, there are many dangerous Pokemon. Oh, you're German. That's cool. Also, there's a Munchlax in chat. Do exclamation mark Pokecatch. They catch it. Alright, so we have to head to the port. It's apparently a sandstorm. I make no promises, but if I remember, maybe. Alrighty. Let's head into the desert and start catching at least desert Pokemon. We love a good sandstorm. Two whole decades. I've got 20 years of studies at the academy under my belt. 20 years of study at the academy? That's wild. Alright, I feel like Crocolore is really bad for this. Since he's a fire type. 
If you want, I can give you some version exclusive for your Violet game. That's okay. Um, that's why I'm playing Scarlet on stream. So that I can get them and y'all get to watch. So, it's okay. I'll get them eventually. Or just at like the beginning of the game. Okay, I want to switch to Skip Loom. I'll go now, but you'll be back later. Awesome. I will see you later. Have a great day. The rest of your day. Okay, we're gonna fairy win the basket. Skip Bloom. I didn't see who was coming out. We'll just leave Skip Bloom. No, oh, Pawniard. Okay, we're gonna swap to Crocolore. We defeated Luis. 20 years for this. Yeah, I don't know why you've been at the academy for 20 years. It seems like a personal problem, if you ask me. Alright, so there are a lot of Pokemon that I don't have. And we also need to level. This is going to be a hard battle. One more should do it. I gotta finish my hot chocolate because it's no longer hot, it's kind of cold. Uh. Alright, well, we didn't get to catch it. chocolate. It's all done. Yeah, we're just gonna 
Straight up start with Ember. Okay, so that didn't work. We'll use arm thrust. Cool if we could catch his Pokemon. Okay, we need to go heal. I'd like to heal my Pokemon, please. Silicobra. Oh, I kicked up a sandstorm. Minimize. Ah, we upped our avoidance. Not avoid it. We're right, just gonna run because they're just gonna evade everything.
Let's see if we can catch him. Our flit flinched. Dawn fan. Rude. That was so rude. All right. Um. Bring out Skip Loom, because for whatever reason they're level twenty six. I didn't do none. <laughs> Rude. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to run. We can't battle all level 35 Pokemon. Such slow motion. Heal me up, please. Grim with a hat. How are you doing? Thank you for the follow. What is this? Is this a Scarlet exclusive? I've never seen this Pokemon before. And there's a pan for in chat if you're interested in catching it. Just use exclamation mark Pokecatch. You're good, but bored. Just wanted to ask if you could join. Um, I'm not doing any raids or anything right now. I'm just playing through the story. Yes, that is a Scarlet exclusive. Gotcha. Yeah, I um, played through Violet. I'm playing through Scarlet so I can get the Scarlet exclusives. Ouch. For my Violet playthrough. Biting it will do any good. I'll try biting. Look up him for honestly that's fine. I just wanted to join just to mess around and maybe watch you do gyms in game. Can you do that? Hmm. There we go. Buffeted by the sandstorm, no, it's not. Okay. Yes, you can, so if it's a no, it's alright. Um, 
Yeah, I wasn't planning on opening up. I wasn't planning on going online in my game. So, Stonjourner is a big rock Pokemon. Interesting. The elemental composition of the rocks that form its body were found to match the bedrock of a land far away from this Pokemon's habitat. Interesting. That's one of the Pokemon I need for my Violet Pokedex. I don't have that one, I don't think. Well, I've never seen that one. So. Let's see, we need to heal up Grogalore. And heal up Weasel. What a nice Pokemon battle. I've got some spare time and I'd like to do something fun. Oh. Come on, Rickwell. Raquel? Raquel. I don't think Ember will do much. It is a water esque Pokemon. Yeah. Should probably get Crocolore out of here. Ouchies. Okay, um, get my grass type in here, uh, yeah, grass fairy type. You're in charge, Skip Bloom. for the Mega Drain. Oh, that's rude. That was very rude. Seems the way to go. I didn't even see what they were throwing out. It's a viper. Zangoose? Only I had Zangoose. How? That was rude. Alright. The only way to get rid of a snake is probably with fire. Tinkasink wants to learn a brutal swing. Let's get rid of Rock Smash. I think we should get rid of Cupid. And Claude Sire wants to learn Poison Jab. You want to get rid of Yawn?
Guess we could always relearn Yawn. Are, are we not done yet? Knackle stack. Um, what's that salt Pokemon? Maybe it's Brock. Not salt, but same thing. Finally defeated her. Jeez. Was that fun? That was kind of hard for me. Ooh, who we got? Tinka Tink. We got Tinka Tough. Still a hammer Pokemon. This Pokemon will attack groups of Ponyard and Bisharp, gathering metal from them in order to create lar a large and sturdy hammer. Kind of rude, honestly. I'm about it, though. Alright. So, we got... We need some help. So we've battled two trainers so far. I know there's a um, Titan Pokemon. I was trying to remember what it what it was. I don't remember its name in this in this version. Um, I know there's one right over here somewhere. Getting close to it. Yeah, Roto To To To. Hey, Quayla. Apparently this desert is home to the quaking Earth Titan. Speaking of which, the ground's been shaking off and on and er, make me, making me feel a bit sick. Sorry, I'm just gonna go sit down and rest a little more before I go back to Titan hunting. So there is a Titan, and he's like right over that hill, I think. I don't know if we're leveled enough. We couldn't defeat the Dawn fan. So, I don't know if we're going to be able to defeat the Quaking Earth Titan. Do we have any Pokemon with, like, super effective? Oh, Skiploom. Interesting. I guess if we could get a hit in. Oh yes, that's super effective. We're not there yet for the Dawn fan.
don't even have a level 30 Pokemon yet. There we go. Oof. Yeah, we're definitely not ready. To defeat Don Fan. So maybe we should see if there are any more trainers in the desert we can fight. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll go this way. I don't, we haven't been this way yet. And there's a Ponita in chat if you're interested in capturing it. Oh, that. Oh, it's the young beetle Pokemon. Here, we'll battle him. And we'll try and catch Ponita as well. Alright, um... Set it on fire. Let's go. Pokemon. This Pokemon creates a mud ball by mixing sand and dirt with psychic energy. It treasures its mud ball more than its own life. We got the tumbleweed Pokemon over here. I forget its name. Bramblin. I don't think we should use fire on it. Yeah. I'm just gonna try catching it. Cool. And Ponyta escaped. Got Bramblin. A soul unable to move on to the afterlife was blown around by the wind until it got tangled up with dried grass and became a Pokemon. Interesting. Okay. We can get behind it. Alright, so we got ruins. So there's probably... There's a gimmigool over there. There's a gimmigool down here. There's one, like, on top of these things. I don't know how to get up there, though. I can't jump that high. Alright, let's fight the gimmigal in the in the chest.
60 Gimmigul coins. That's what we need if we're ever going to get 999 of them. We're not able to defeat the Dawn fan just yet. That Bramblin just rolled off the hill. Where's actually where we need to go? Like right down there. Ah, no. I don't want to run into Flittle. So hard to defeat. get over there. Maybe you need to go around this rock thing. I hope. Maybe. Nope. Cool. I've got a guitar that doesn't make a sound. Okay, lady. Wiggly tough. Okay. I'm as victorious as my guitar is loud. Poor lady. I don't think we've fought the Espadria. This Pathras, sorry. I don't think we've fought this Pokemon before. It's also level 37, so we're gonna get like smushed. Unless it's like really affected by fire. I guess maybe we should use a, a potion. Fire fangs. Could be a good move for Crocolore. Hmm. 
I don't think I've ever been over here before. I know I haven't really, like, finished playing Violet, but... There's the Quaking Earth Titan. So much better than the, um... Iron Treads. I like the look of that one a whole lot more. Couple more Pokemon trainers. Let's revive Crocolore. Mm. What did it do? What it wants to do? Okay. Battle this person. Isabel. Was too easy. Team Star. Watch out for Team Star. They have a real unique way of battling. Pretty unique yourself. Ooh. Ooh, who's evolving? Skip Bloom. We got a Jump Luff. Jump Luff travels on seasonal winds. Once its cotton spores run out, its journey ends as does its life. Kinda scary. I think I like Skip Bloom more though. Alright, I don't know what's in this cave. Oh, it's just a cave through to the other side. Interesting. Oh look, there's a Larvitar. We're too over leveled for it. Whoopsies. Maybe we can catch it? Hot right now. Weasel.
weasel will evolve into a float soul. With its flotation sack and inflated, it can carry people on its back. It deflates the sack before it dives. Okay, what all's up here? We're just where the um, windmills are? Is that really just where we are? Yep. We went from the desert all the way back over here. Okay. So we're gonna go back to Kaskarovka. Kaskarafa? And then we're gonna go try the Quaking Earth Titan. Yes, I would like to heal my Pokemon. Alright, let's go. I don't think this is gonna work out very well, but let's go. Can I climb up it? Double jump ability of. I gotta defeat a, uh, another Titan. Oh. Forgot about all those Pokemon. Oh, there's another. Oh, okay, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go over here. It doesn't roll, does it? It's huge. Oh, there's a Nuzleaf in Chad? No, oh, no, it escaped. Okay. Roto to to to. Hello, Quayla. This is Professor Zada. Great Tusk is a Pokemon that came from the Great Crater of Paldea. I ask that you do whatever is needed to subdue it for me, with all due caution, of course. Okay, we're gonna try, ma'am. Yeah. Maybe if we poison it?
no, 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 no. Not very effective. I was overwhelmed by defeat. Okay. We're going to the Pokemon Center. I feel like we need to at least get everybody to like level 30. Maybe have a fighting chance. So let's run through the desert. And then between the desert and Porto Marin Marinada, there are a few trainers we can fight. We have to go this way though. We're just not strong enough yet. And I guess I could fight a bunch of Pokemon. Now oh, here's another trainer. The Pokemaniac. The great creator of Paldea. Why is the great creator of Paldea off limits, I wonder? fight Dratini. Who's coming out? Oh, Tinkatuff. Tinkatuff breaks the mold. Okay. Um, what do we want to do? Sounds like there might be a train coming, so I apologize. I guess if a kid can beat me, I'm better off not going anywhere dangerous. So 
hopeful that you wouldn't be able to hear the train, but I guess... I need to change up some of my filters. Ah, what am I doing? Oh, well, there's Kofu. Here, while the train passes, I'm gonna go get some water and I will be right back. Alrighty, the train has passed. We are back. Let me swap scenes. Oh, my chair's going down. Let me fix that too. Okay. Alright, I think we're ready. Um, controller. Fulton Valusa. Where? Where in the world? Oh, my chair's going down. One second. I'm still here, just trying to fix my chair. Alright, I think we're good now. Cool. As we hit everything. 
Yeah, we're good now. Okie dokie. So, we found Kofu. He's saying, Valton, Valuza, where? Where in the world? You little flowers are getting battered by the sea breeze, something fierce, but you don't care. What strong, pretty little flowers? Where? Where in the world can I go to find more like you? Tee hee. Oh shoot, I need to get down to the market. I wasn't standing there. Okay. So here we are, we need to get our butt kicked a bunch of times. Oh, I forgot to turn off the, um, the Pokemon lo-fi music. I was like, what is going on? Alright. So we already have a Mastiff. But I guess we're gonna fight this one. And there is a Carcoal in front, uh, on, on top of my head. I guess this is a good place to be because they're closely leveled to us. So like 28 over like 20. Giraffe rig. Or is it for a giraffe? Switch Pokemon so we can get some leveling. See, there is another one. And it did just run right into me. Which was kind of rude. Oh, it's a, what, a stun key? I think this is also a Scarlet exclusive Pokemon, because I haven't seen it yet. Apparently I fought one. There's a lot of meow. Okay, we caught Meowth, which is a scratch cat Pokemon. 
All it does is sleep during the daytime. At night, it patrols its territory with its eyes aglow. Let me up this into our boxes. Cool. Alright, we need to get down to the Poke Center. to battle all these trainers to level up. I knew that wouldn't work. There's a Tauros. Those are very aggressive. But maybe, maybe we can beat it. I also 100% forgot during my battle with, um, Great Tusk. I could have terrestrialized. One hundred percent forgot. Tinker Tough be number one for a minute. Hey, what does Casaroya mean? That's all I can think about recently. We're challenged by Yasin. Sandy Gast. Masquerain? I don't know what that Pokemon is. Oh. Never mind. I 
What? It's not affected? No, oh, avoided. It's not very effective. Whoopsies. Ouch. Guess I'll need to change Pokemon in a minute. I'm almost to learn Thunder Wave. Or Thunder Wave. Thunder Shock. What is Thunder Shock? We don't want just a paralysis one. Let's see. Wait, I know. Maybe it's a royal casserole. Maybe that's what it is. This one's so much bigger than that one. Pretty sure there are trainers over here. This is one of the ten sites of Paldan. Oh, we're gonna swap. We're gonna fight this scientist looking dude. I prefer the indoors. So do I, dude, and so do I. What an amazing sight. Pretty sure there are more trainers in here. But I could be crazy. A ma mass outbreak of Glimmit? Interesting, I guess that means we're gonna have to fight a Glimmit.
There's a bell sprout in chat if you're interested in capturing it. Use exclamation mark poke catch. Okay, Tinka Tough leveled up. They want to learn Slam. We'll look and see what Slam does. I wonder if we get Rock Smash. Slam with a long tail finds you the like to inflict damage. I guess that's fair. We can always relearn Rock Smash. Ooh, who's... Oh, we got Glimmit. Glimmit is the ore Pokemon. It absorbs nutrients from cave walls. The petals also... The petals it wears are made out of crystallized poison. Interesting. Hell! My hand throws Pokeballs all on its own. All right, Aurora. Guess I picked the wrong opponent. I guess you did. Alright, are there any more trainers in here? Oh, there's this guy. Or this person. So strong. So rare. Sharkadem versus Crocolore. It's probably pl uh, a Don't hurt that bad. Crab. There we go. Spirit tomb. I don't know what a good. It's like poison. I don't know.
There we go. Are you sure I learned flamethrower? I should have known. Let's get rid of Ember. That's fine. to the focus center. Not in Madali. Where are we at? Oh, okay. I got turned backwards. We're gonna go here. Well, we need to go to Madali. Okay, we're gonna head down to the port. Maybe up and over here. See, was at this tower, which I think is another gimmick wall. There's a couple of people up here. Interesting. There's a lot of people up here. They have a regular whooper. Okay. Down we go. We want to fight Muck. Well, there's not a Poke Center. We'll come back and fight Muck. We're gonna go down and go to the market and give Kofu back his wallet. Walton Veluza, where where in the world? Where in the world is my wallet? Without my wallet, I won't be able to get today's hot item. It'll get bought up by somebody else. Sniffle. Don't worry, old man Kofu. I'll run and look for it right now. What do you want? Old man Kofu's in the middle of some super duper important ingredient buy-in. If you're thinking about trying to interrupt him, then I, his best apprentice, will have to stop you. So do you have something super important to say to us busy folks or what? Hello there, Dawson. Thank you for the follow. How are you doing? Super important, hey? We'll see about that. Maybe a battle will shut your mouth. Alright, maybe Crocolore versus Floatzel isn't a good idea. Um, let's swap to Jump Love. We are just now getting to the second gym of the game. We've beaten one Titan, one Team Starbase, 
And now we're trying to get to the water gym. Um, we tried the second titan. We tried um, Great Tusk. Did not work out well. I don't want to switch Pokemon. Um, so we're going to try the water gym and then go back. kind of the plan right now. We had to return his wallet, so we're in Porto Marinata. Um, but his apprentice wouldn't let us through, so we are battling them. Shucks, I let old man Kofu down. Dang it, that backfired, and now my wallet's empty too. Kofu. Hey, yeah, step right up and tell me, what's all the ruckus about over here? Oh, old man Kofu, seems this kid's got something to say to you. What's that now? The customer here for little old walletless, moneyless me? What can I do for you? I have your wallet. You returned his wallet. Bolton Valooza, my wallet. Say what now? My lobby staffer sent you out here to bring it to me? That's a huge help. Thanks for coming all this way. I guess I should apologize for my little apprentice, too. Hope we didn't bother you too much. There's something here at the Porto Marinata auction that we really want to get our hands on. So as you can imagine, we're both a bit worked up to find I'd forgotten my wallet. Ladies and gents, you won't want to miss this. Here comes today's last item. Feast your eyes on the main event. I have here a... Uh, the legendary wakame seaweed of the Hoenn region. Do I have any takers? The vault in Valooza. I don't even have to touch it. I can see it's got the springy texture of seaweed chock full of nutrients. And just look at it. Look how it catches the light and shines so brilliantly. Oh, that and that rich, fresh aroma of something plucked straight out of the ocean. I need to get me some of that. Now listen, kid. If you want to challenge me at the Kaskarafa gym, you're going to need some smarts. And this is the perfect place to test you. Get the wind bidden on that old on that seaweed for this old man. And at the auction, you gotta compete with other customers for goods. You gotta be aware of how much money you have, of course, but the person who bids the highest price gets to buy whatever's on sale. Here you are, fighting funds for the auction. Be smart with it and win this old man that seaweed. All right, he's making me go buy a seaweed for him. Owen's legendary Wakami seaweed. We'll start at the bidding at 10,000. was amazing you put those grown-up bidders to shame with your bidding skills. Thank you for winning that seaweed for this old man. I'll be taking it now if you don't mind. The far-fetched in chat, if you want to catch it, use exclamation mark poke catch. The seaweed's a great catch. I'd be feeling low as the seabed if I'd failed to get my hands on it. If there's any of that money left uh, I gave you left, feel free to keep it as a tip. You can even use it to try your hand at the auction again if you like. Alrighty, I'm gonna head back to the Koskarafa gym now. Old man Kofu's gonna prepare a real good battle for you. See you there. Cool. Alright. We pass the gym test. We need to go back to Koskarafa. I wonder if there are any more, like... I know there's like Pokemon and stuff over here. 
I don't know if there are any gym leaders, or not gym leaders, um, Pokemon trainers so we can battle. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. Okay. Um... I do need to get some of these Pokemon. So let me swap our starter. Crab Brawler. Macaca Brawler. Boxing Pokemon. This Pokemon punches trees and eats the berries that drop down, training itself and getting food at the same time. Interesting. Alright, here's Pincurchin. Maybe we shouldn't have brought out Floatzel. Poor Floatzel. Okay. Um. See it like it, it like grows horns. Oh, he avoided the attack. How could he? Cushion.
There we go. We got Pin Curtain. It's the Sea Urchin Pokemon. This Pokemon generates electricity when it digests food. It uses its five hard teeth to scrape seaweed off surfaces and eat it. Interesting. Okay, um... I don't think we're gonna be able to catch this one. Oh, maybe. If it doesn't do recover. Okay. Hello, Darren. Thank you for the follow. How are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. Sorry. Alright, we just caught Shellos. Cool. The sea slug Pokemon, we got the West Sea version. Used to have a shell on its back a long time ago. This species is closely related to the to Pokemon like Shelder. You're a little sick. I'm good. Um, we're just playing through the story. Well, currently I'm trying to level up some Pokemon. We're gonna head back to the water gym in Kaskarafa and see if we can beat the gym leader there. My team, I've got Jumpluff, Pomo, Floatzel, Quadsire, Crocolore, and Tinkatuff. And they're all upper 20s level. This is the one that's under the bridge, isn't it? Guess we don't have a Wingle. And try catching Wingle. Wingle is a seagull Pokemon. It soars high in the sky, riding on updrafts like a glider, and carries food tucked in its bill. Cool. Oh. Didn't mean to hit watch roll, but I guess I guess that's what we're doing. And a few maybe go off. Okay. Well, enjoy hanging around. We're just, like I said, leveling up Pokemon. I am trying to finish the Pokemon Violet's Pokedex, so I have to play through Scarlet to do that, to get the Scarlet exclusives. So that's just what we're doing right now. We're also in trouble with Watchroll. Great. Oh, 
Oh no, I don't need the Violet Pokemon. I've already played through Violet, so I have them all. I can trade them with myself. Um, I'm just playing through Scarlet so I can get the Scarlet Pokemon in Violet. But it's okay. I don't need help. Watril is the Storm Petrol Pokemon. Interesting. When its wings catch the wind, the bones within produce electricity. This Pokemon dives into the ocean, catching prey by electrocuting them. It's kind of rude. Not gonna lie. Alrighty, we are going to head back to the Cascarafa gym. Bye, Darren. Have a good night, or good rest of your day, wherever you may be. Um, it's just hitting afternoon here, so... Me trying to take a shortcut. Of course that wouldn't work. Right, we need to heal up. Maybe we can hit up the Titan Pokemon now? Probably not, but maybe. did not like that. Let's do Giraffe Rig. Let's fight Giraffe Rig. Um, I don't think Jump Off would be good for this, but we're, that's what we're starting with. Okay, maybe we can catch Giraffe Rig. Ah, that was rude. There's a Breloom in chat if you're interested in capturing it. Aww. Poor Floatzel. Bring out Crocolore who can take a hit. We'll revive Floatzel because he's one of the lower leveled Pokemon that I have. And he needs those the shared XP. We'll let Crocolore get like beat up. And we'll throw an Ultra Ball. No! I don't know why it had to, like, zoom in for all that. I don't have a timer ball. We were so close!
Hmm. We'll try once more. If we don't catch it, then we'll just finish the battle. Ah. Gotta threaten to leave the battle before it'll capture. Jump up and jump up once to loot and learn the move acrobatics. I don't know what acrobatics is. Nimbly strikes the target. This attack does massive damage if the user isn't holding an item. Who wants to find double hidden? Floats all. Never used soak. Cool, so we got Giraffe Rig, which is the long necked Pokemon. Though very small, the brain in its tail is still considered an important organ because it emits powerful psychic energy. Cool, okay, we need to heal up and then we're going to head to Cascarafa. to start with for Dawn Fan or not for Great Tusk. Maybe we'll start with Floatzel. Hit it with some Aqua Jet or something. I missed it, it's over here. I guess we gotta run into it. Here's Arvin. Hello, or not Arvin, Professor Sada. Hello, Quelo, this is Professor Sada. Great Tusk is a Pokemon that came from the great creator of Paldea. I ask that you do whatever is needed to subdue it for me, with all due caution, of course. We're gonna try. I make n zero promises. If it can one hit my Pokemon. We need to hit it up with a potion since it likes Draining Kiss. Since I like the move Draining Kiss. <sighs> well, 
What a waste of a potion. I knew that was wrong. Okay, we're gonna pull out Claude Sire and we're going to revive Jump Love. And Claude Sire is just going to take all of our hits. Also revive Tinkatuff, so maybe Palmo take the hit. Let us revive Tinkatuff. the fight that we're going through. Okay. Let us revive Jump Bluff. It's like literally all of its moves are super effective. No! Crocolore! Tinga tough. Maybe I'll just maybe we'll potion you. Good. Okay. <sighs> okay. So this team does work. It just needs to be leveled a little bit more. Um, jump off at two.
Can we even? No, we can't. Thank you. We were really close though. Alright, so I think we're gonna go beat Kofu. So let's go... Like, we were so close. We were nearly there. Okay, we have to go like up, up, up and away. Boom, let's continue. Nimona's here. Vaya, Aquila. It's so wild that we ended up randomly visiting the same gym at the same time. Again. What a weird coincidence. I swear I'm not just sneaking ahead of you so I can lie and wait and go, Oh wow, weird. Might as well battle now that you're here. No seriously, look. To prove it, I won't even challenge you to a battle this time. M much as I'd like to. But look at you and your Pokemon. They've definitely gone, gotten stronger since last time. Add these to the mix and you'll be 100% set to go, no problem. I'll be cheering for you. I'll go train like maybe 20 Pokemon or so while you tackle the gym. Great. Alright. Quayla, I heard you reunited Kofu with his wallet. I can't thank you enough. Though this is a little irregular, please consider your gym test passed. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Kofu, the surging chef? Yes. Very well. Allow me to show you to the battle court. And there's a Kaparaja in chat, if you're interested in capturing him. I'm just type exclamation mark Poke Catch. Old man Kofu, play with us, come on. I would be honored if you would try a new item for my restaurant's menu as well. Sorry everybody, I've got some businesses to take care of as gym leader real quick like. I'm keeping someone waiting, you see? Please forgive me, I need to do this first. Okay. Hey, yeah, step right up. I've been waiting for you. Thanks for the help over in Porto Marinada. You did a mighty fine job. And now that I've got that legendary seaweed, I can make some real quality dishes with it. But don't expect me to go easy on you in our battle here. At the auction, we battle with buying and selling. At my gym, we battle in more traditional sense. Moves and tactics ever changing as the rage and sea. I'ma serve you a full course of water type Pokemon. Don't try to eat them though. Wait, what happened to Jump Love? Oh, 
Why is Floatzel first? Was not who I expected to come out first. Bring out jump off now. Okay. We got one trio. Um Let's go. One more time. There we go. They're abominable. So this is his last Pokemon. I'm pretty sure. It's it well he's gonna tear a battle it yeah it's a nice pokemon that's what i thought i was gonna pull out um procolore but i forgot no no i i had doubt i didn't know it was a nice pokemon but it's turning into a water pokemon so half a dozen to one six to the other Stop slamming. One old man Kofu special coming right up. Hang on tight or get swept away by the surging chef. Crab hammer. Walton Valusa, you're a lively one, aren't you? A little too lively, if I do say so myself. A loss as refreshing as the air at the m morning market. I'm just like a little helpless magic carp to you, eh? Flopping around all willy nilly. You got me good, I'd tell you. What a great catch you are. Just like a master fisher, you held on tight till the last second and reeled in victory. Now it's time to hand over a gym badge to you. And let's get a real good photo together using a pose I've been wanting to try out for a while. I'm worried. With two gym badges in your possession, Pokemon of up to level 30 will be easier to catch and, and it'll listen to you when you ask them to do things. Let me throw this in too as an extra special bonus. I'm sure you can make good use of it. I got chilling water. Alright, it's about time I headed back to my restaurant and got to prepping for the next wave. You come back and see me na again now, you hear? Aye aye, Captain.
Pardon me, would you be the Quayla I've been hearing so much about? Namona had in mentioned that there was a promising new face in the academy. Yes, indeed. Oh, but I do apologize. I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hassel. I'm one of the Elite Four of the Pokemon League. I also teach art classes at the academy. So do tell me, young Quayla, what compels you to collect these gym badges and strive to be a champion? I want to get stronger. Asked and answered. Thank you. Naturally, there is no single correct answer. All paths lead to the great creator of Paldea, as they say. You know, your friend Nimona is the youngest to achieve champion rank in all Paldean history. It is entirely possible that such great potential lies within you as well. Should you continue striving to reach champion rank, you will one day have to battle me. You will be wise to train hard, starting now. It will save you from experiencing the, better, the bitter regret of defeat. Oh, and do come along to my art class sometime. I would be thrilled to have you attend. Okay, so we got our second gym badge. We really need to go f defeat that Titan. So I'm thinking we'll need to switch out a Pokemon that gets one hit. doesn't appear to like fairy moves, so maybe we'll look for a fairy Pokemon. So yeah, they're not healed, so let's heal these guys up, and we'll go look at my boxes and see what we got. Or maybe grass type, because jump love is grass. Grass and fairy and flying. So let's see. That's not not the correct button. Let's look in our boxes. We have giraffe egg, which is psychic. Not fairy. I don't think we have any. I mean. He's fighting Psychic. So it's just water. Rock poison. I mean, let's bring out Giraffe Rig. Can't be any worse than, um... Pretty sure Claude Sire got KO'd. Discord notification. Okay, let's go try. You're working on completing the Scarlet decks right now? Cool. Um, I'm playing Scarlet so I can complete the Violet decks, which I think eventually I'll just complete both of them. Um, but welcome in, that decent gamer. Welcome to the stream. Um, we are currently working through the story because all the Pokemon I really need are the um, Area Zero Pokemon. Um, I guess, have you 
finished the Violet decks? Or are you just playing Scarlet? Okay, we're gonna try Great Tusk once more. We're gonna start off with Floatzel. I thought I got rid of Pomo. No, I got rid of Clodsire, never mind. Clodsire didn't do much. Okay, <laughs> Professor Sadek continues to call me. She just wants us to subdue Great Tusk. Alright, we're gonna use Aqua Jet. Not great, not great. Okay, and with that, we're going to revive oh. the wrong Pokemon. Good, good, good. Okay, um, we're gonna throw out Giraffe Rig. There's a Clefable in chat. If you would like to capture it, use exclamation mark poke catch. Oh, got one hit. Hurts my soul. Alright, uh, we're gonna bring out Crocolore, and then we're gonna revive the Pokemon I actually wanted to revive. Wasting a revive. How could I? Jump bluff. Tough. All right. Of course, it one hits it. Left. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't think we're gonna defeat this one either. That kind of sucks. Why am I so bad? Yeah, no, this isn't gonna work. Nope. I always have the same little bit left. Pokemon are healed. Let's find some Pokemon to battle. This is like our main issue, I think, is just leveling. We were very close, but just not close enough. Like a Dawn fan up here. Probably also would have helped if Jump Bluff had been first. Um, because the first few rounds, it doesn't have enough speed to be first. I think there's a Dawn fan somewhere. Yeah, we're gonna battle one of these guys. So we're gonna throw out Floatzel. We're gonna revive Jump Love because we need um that shared XP. And now we're gonna throw a Pokeball at it. The armor Pokemon. Dawn Fan is covered in a tough hide, so even being hit by a car won't phase this Pokemon. However, it is extremely susceptible to rain. Interesting. 
That didn't help us much. Feeling better about being able to um, defeat Don Van. Look, another Dawn fan. Here we go. That was rude. I feel bad for jump love, but we're gonna swap it in. Okay, we're gonna go heal up, and then we're gonna set our team, and uh, try again, I guess. Let's go see if we can beat it. Oh, I need to set up my team. 
Wait, does my jump left to go first? Thinking we'll use all of our heavy hitters and then um once they're knocked out. Oh, I didn't buy anything. I need revives. I'm so terrible. I need potions and revives. How could I forget? I only have two revives. Give me ten of those. We need all the potions we can get. Alright, let's go, sir. Here comes Professor Sada. Yes, ma'am. Tried acrobatics. Oh, there's a Sinistee in Chad. You can use exclamation mark Poke Catch. Oh man. Only got one hit in. Tinker tough, let's go. I caught Sinistee. Why is it one hitting everything now? I'm very much not a happy camper right now. I've been trying to reach you at your car's extended warranty. Welcome back. 
control though. Um, we're here trying again to defeat Great Tusk. That does not seem to be working though. this no Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to defeat this titan this time. Um... Use the super potion on jump off. This is like my fifth time. I thought I had a decent strategy. I didn't. Um... Yeah. I'm thinking after this, because I don't think we're gonna defeat him. Oh, we're in the red now. That's a, That was a good hit. Have I tried asking the Pokemon to stop hitting me so hard? You know... I... yeah, I should do that, shouldn't I? Uh, that should be, like, step number one. Don't hit me so hard. Down to one. Mm. Did we do it? I mean, we didn't finish it off, but like. Fam, all my Pokemon are dead. Find it? I don't want to find it. Everyone's dead. Is Arvin gonna help me out? Can you go to the center? Oh, I guess I could. Yeah, I'll go to the Pokemon Center. Yes, please heal them. They are dead. I don't think it resets the encounter. No! Don't talk to her again. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm 
I hope it doesn't reset the encounter. I'm not doing that fight again. I guess with that question, what is a jump bluff's um, terra type? Its terra type is flying. I've been using its grass move. I thought current type was only really useful for defending. Hmm. It also turns it into that type. So my flying type move would be stronger, I guess. Arvin, just in time. We need your help. Quayla, looks like you found yourself a titan. Wait, that's the Quaking Earth Titan? Uh, is that thing even a Pokemon? It must be trying to get pumped up with that little snack. Time to show that thing what you and me can do, Quayla. Does being the same type of move make it stronger? Yes. Get a level 44 Scoville and I'm over here with a level 32 jump bluff. And he only has one Pokemon. Mr. Arvin, that is not what we are here for. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, how could you, Great Tusk? Mm. So that means Arvin's out of the fight. jump bluff that did all that work okay um so we're gonna bring out giraffe rig it'd be nice if arvin could throw out another pokemon i hope it doesn't get ko'd <laughs>
haven't seen this one before. Buy a hot dog. Yeah. Uh, Float soul. Okay. We're going to use Crocolore as a martyr, and we are going to revive Jump Luff. Since I believe Crocolore can take two hits from this guy. Let's go. Mm. Pains me. Okay, cool. Thank God. It fainted. Why did it fall over? Oh, look at Jump Luff. He's so cute. We defeated Great Tusk. Finally. This was like the fifth time we battled it. GG, thank you. Thank you. Yes, nice going, little buddy. What even was that thing, though? I kind of feel like maybe I've seen it before somewhere. Okay, back to work. Alright, have fun working. Anyway, I bet if we head inside here, we'll find more of that Herba Mystica it was eating. Let's give the, the place a once-over before that thing decides to come back. There's a double in Chad. Interesting. You can use exclamation mark poke catch to catch it. If we're lucky, there'll be another herb there. Why is there a Pokeball on the ground? I knew it! You knew there was a Pokeball on the ground? It really is here. This is one of the herbs, make no mistake. You and Arvin found the Sour Herba Mystica. Woohoo, we did it! Thanks, Quayla. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Okay, Sour Herba Mystica is chock full of nutrients and is great for boosting your overall health. It says here it works wonders whether you're tired physically or mentally. Perks you right up. If I can just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some. Well, what are we waiting for, Quayla? It's time to dig in. Let me live up something for us. You're Haya Huacha. And Bob's your uncle. Here you go, my special whimsical herb filled super sandwich. And it comes with a side of Titan Badge as a token of my gratitude, of course. Oh, cool, I caught double. Oh, come on, you again? He really likes sandwiches. Do you want to give your sandwich to Coradon? Yes, I'll give him my sandwich. Is it trying to say thanks or something? Well, good thing I made extra. You're helping me out a whole bunch with the hard stuff, so it's only fair that you get more. I definitely absolutely did not make extra so that Coradon could have a sandwich, okay? Oh, we 
can glide. Finally, we got the gliding ability. Did it grow stronger again? Man, these Urban Mystica really do pack a punch, don't they? I mean, they'd better or else I'm really up the creek. Don't you dare touch that. That isn't for you. He looks so sad. Uh, 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 sorry. I shouldn't have shouted like that. I guess I should at least tell you the full story, Quayla. Come out. Come on out, bud. This is my, my boss, Diff. My partner. Here you go, bud. Eat up. This sandwich should help you feel better. Slowly now. Take your time. Small bites are fine. Just chew nice and slow. My buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He never really recovered. Have you tried a Pokemon Center? They said this wasn't any regular old injury or illness. My boss stuff here is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. So, I promised that I'd make him better. Whatever it takes. I searched online. I read books. I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find. But nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the Herba Mystica. I, the, I asked the book, what is it? I found it in my mom's lab. So, Herba Mystica. Area Zero is home to wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. We dubbed them Herba Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Paldea. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokemon, which in turn grew large and strong. We call these Titan Pokemon. It's this book of full of crazy stories and legends and things, stuff nobody usually believe. But I believe in it. I think what it says is true. And according to this book, eating all five Herba Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, Mabostiff's paws were cold as ice before he ate that last herb. But they've warmed up a little now. I'm sure they have. Oh, you done eaten, bud. Hey, my boss, Diff, can, can you see? Are your eyes open? Yes, I did it. It's It's been so long since he was able to open his eyes. I was so worried. Oh man, I'm so, I'm so glad. <laughs> oh, look at him, those fiery orange little eyes. Hard to even tell if they're open or not, but I know the difference. The power of these herbs is amazing. I knew the book wasn't lying. I'm gonna go bring the boss diff back to full health, I swear it. Oh yeah, uh, so that's my story. Three herbs to go, let's find them, together. Ro to 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 Professor Sada. Hello, Quayla. This is Sada. I detect that Quiridon has regained some more of its original power. After it has jumped into the air, you should try pressing the B button again. It should glide now. So press the B button while you're air in the air and Quiridon will glide. I'm relying on you to continue taking good care of Quiridon.
Alrighty. We're gonna go to the Poké Center. I think everybody's healed, though. We're gonna go to the Poké Center. We're gonna save here. We're gonna go find somebody to raid. So I would like you, if you're willing, to please hang around for a moment while I find somebody who we can raid. Let me open up Google. Apparently wasn't open. Interesting. Oh yeah, I had to reset my computer at the beginning of stream. All right, let's see who's live. Soya is playing Undertale. And then Jack is playing Spelunky. See, everybody else is offline. Let's see, who else is playing Pokemon Scarlet? We'll go give this lady's name is Swag Lord Rosa. We'll go give them a raid. Yeah, I'm leaving. We're gonna go raid Swag Lord Rosa. She's also playing Pokemon Scarlet, it looks like. Swag Lord, yes, Swag Lord. Um She's trying to complete the Pokedex. I'm not real sure how far along in the game she is, so we will go give her a raid. Um, that raid is in. Um, I will be back Wednesday at 7pm. My Monday stream is cancelled. We will be playing some Assassin's Creed. So, tune in if you're interested. And then next Sunday, I'm not sure what we're going to be playing. We might play more Pokemon. Uh, we might switch back to Paper Mario. I'm not sure. Um, but thank you for everybody who joined and followed today. Um, so Trollo, Grim with a hat, Dawson, and Darren. Uh, thank you all for following and hanging around and chat for a little bit. Um, and then BS Hammer, you as well. Thanks for hanging out. We beat a gym and a titan and a, uh, team star today. So it's super exciting. I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. Um, feel free to follow me on Twitter or join my Discord to keep up with my schedule. And I'll be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. Uh, have a great weekend. Have a great rest of your weekend. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.